May the words of my mouth and the meditations of all our hearts be pleasing in your sight. O Lord, our strength and our freedom. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. So this morning I want to share a true story about a guy named Frank and his two friends, Bill and James. Now Frank was a lector at an Episcopal church. Does anybody know what a lector is? You guys learned what a deacon and a bishop and a priest is. What is a lector? Any guesses? A lector is someone who reads the scriptures during the liturgy of the word. Frank was a lector. He was a a lay person. He wasn't ordained. And he was scheduled to read uh, a passage of scripture on Christmas Day. This was back in 1968. But he was not able to be there on that day because he was not only not in town, he was out of this world because he was invited to be the commander of the Apollo 8 spacecraft, which is the spacecraft that left Earth's orbit, the first spacecraft that left the Earth's orbit and reached the moon. It didn't land on the moon, but it orbited around the moon 10 times. And they were the first humans to see the dark side of the moon, which, well, it's a great Pink Floyd album. It's a, it's a misnomer. There is no dark side of the moon. There's the far side of the moon. So they were observing the surface of the moon, observing the, the gray surface and the craters and scoping out a flat place for future spacecrafts to land. And as they're orbiting around on their fourth orbit and noticing this pretty colorless landscape, they see in the distance this bright blue marble, this blue and white marble that just takes their breath away. And Bill, who was one of Frank's friends, one of the fellow astronauts, Bill and James, were on the Apollo 8 with Frank. Bill sees this blue marble, and he says, oh my God, look at that. The earth is coming up. It is so pretty. Wow, it is so pretty. And he then reaches for a camera to take a picture, and then Frank says, Hold on, don't take a picture of that. That's not on our schedule. But fortunately, Bill knew Frank well enough to know that he was an Episcopalian with a sense of humor. And he knew that Frank was joking when he said that. So he just laughed at Frank and said, I'm going to grab my camera. And he took a color picture of the earth rising. And we're so glad he did because that is probably the most influential photograph ever in human history. Certainly the most influential environmental photograph, a picture that launched the environmental eco-justice movement, a picture that helps us see how interconnected we are, how interdependent we are, how blessed we are to have a home that is just the right distance away from the sun to absorb its energy and to be hospitable to the life that's all around us, to the life that is us. This is what they saw. And we've seen this so often, but imagine seeing this for the first time in space, looking at it from a distance. They could even cover the whole earth with their thumb. It was this tiny speck of blue and white. Our presiding bishop in the Episcopal Church, Michael Curry, said that he wondered if when they saw it, if God whispered in their ears, look at your world, behold your world, look at it in all its beauty and wonder and symmetry. And he imagined God smiling a cosmic smile and saying, y'all get to see what I see. And I hold this in my hands. 
And Bill, who took the picture, said that we traveled all this way to explore the moon, but the most important thing is that we discovered the Earth. And then, on Christmas Eve, they broadcast back to the billions of people living on that blue marble that they could cover with their thumb. And they decided, the three of them decided, led by Frank, who was a lector in the Episcopal Church, St. Christopher's Episcopal Church in, in uh, Texas, League City, Texas, they decided to be lectors for the whole planet Earth. They decided to read a passage of scripture. What would you read? This was the most uh, viewed TV broadcast ever at the time. What would you read? They decided to read the first 10 verses, the verse for every orbit around the moon, first 10 verses of the first book of the Bible, which is... Priest knows. Anybody else beside the priest know the first book of the Bible? Yes. Genesis. Genesis. They read verses 1 through 10 of Genesis. And so Frank, although he missed his his duties at St. Christopher's in League City, he did fulfill his Christmas lecture duties by reading the Bible to the entire world. And then he ended by saying, And from the crew of Apollo 8, we close by wishing you all a good night and good luck. And God bless you all, all of you on the good earth. So I want to invite us now to imagine that we are on that Apollo 8 spacecraft looking at the earth. And I'm going to need a Bill and a James and a Frank. So Bill... We'll read the first few verses of Genesis 1. Let's see this. And then James will read the second verses, and then Frank will read the last verse. Who wants to be Bill? God saw that it was good. Amen. Thank you, guys. Bill, James, and Frank. And also with you. Where? Oh, my gosh. Oh. Yes, it's looking at me right now. Oh, we love you. It's it's hard to see, but he's right there. Come here. Come here. See, he's looking at you. See? Yeah. Look at the bird. 
heard him. I heard him for his friends last night making weird noises. You don't see it? Yeah, he's definitely camouflaged, but he's moving around a bit.